That's about it. This is Lazy Morning. and what is up, Far Cry Nation? Yes, it is another Monday, and we are back at the reset. What stuff is in store? Remember, guys, remember, if you have the season pass or if you have the DLC that you're going to be buying, the Voss DLC is going to go live very, very soon. So make sure you guys get your downloads ready and ready to go. I will have you guys completely covered with things, everything vast. We have the best weapons to pick, the best route to get, how to get the most amount of cash. And I don't even want to tell you what anything else because I don't want to spoil it a lot. But we have a ton of content for vast. Also, guys, it was a busy, busy day today, guys. We had Outriders launching. We had, you know, uh, Far Cry. And then we had Halo Infinite. So do expect a lot of videos coming your way for either game. So make sure you guys keep it locked here in the channel for all your shooter needs. If you guys are enjoying what we're doing, do me the huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on all those notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. So without further ado, guys, let's see what we have available. We're also going to be taking a look at the weapons and let's start off with the insurgency. So for the insurgency, guys, I'm going to show you the location we have. But once again, we have to get anti-aircraft cannons. We have to give capture FND bases, complete the special operation and capture the checkpoints. Now, I always say like to mention this because I, I get this question asked. Every single time I make one of these videos is how do I get the special op key? All right, guys, in order for you guys to get the special op key, you need to complete all those four objectives, all these four objectives first to be able to complete this objective that's going to award you the special op key. So I hope that makes sense for you guys who might be new. And the special op key is a it's usable to open up a secret chest that is found on within the special operations, which I have guides on where the location of those chests are. So you guys are more than welcome to check it out. This week's weapon is the EVA, and the EVA looks kind of pretty, pretty good. Not going to lie. Let's take a look at what we have. We have damage up to the wazoo. Velocity is pretty good. Accuracy is pretty good. Stealth, we're not going to have a lot, but we do have uh, eight mags, and the rate of fire is 180. It does come with armor-piercing rounds, which is really good. You know the weapon's going to be really, really good. If it comes with armor-piercing, that means it automatically one-shots everything. comes with a suppressor. comes with the, uh, the scope and the laser. And we have improved enemy uh, below you and improved suppressor cooling rate, which is really good with a sniper. You really don't need it. So this actually looks gonna looks very, very promising as to being a very, very good sniper. Now, the insurgency that got overtaken, let's take a look at the map. It's going to be located right here. It's going to be in the Familia Montero farm. And you guys, uh, let me show you the locations because I know some of you guys haven't cleared the map. So you can do this checkpoint. You can just do this anti-air or this anti-air right here. Or you could, and you could, the FNDs are located right there for those of you who might not have it completed. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at what we have as far as special operations. So for special operations, guys, we have any of these three to pick from. But the one you're going to want to do if you're trying to pick up the one from the insurgency, it's going to be the uh, Los Tres Santos, which is going to, it was a new one that came out. And I have a guide here showing you guys the location of where the hidden key is at, where the hidden chest is at for that 400 extra moneda. So make sure you guys watch that video. I'll leave the link in the description as well. So you got to complete that one. Now for the black market, guys, this is what we have available. We have the Libertad Custom AS Val. The AS Val is actually a really, really good weapon and one that I recommend you guys pick that up. Not only that, but I what the thing I really liked about this Libertad uh, you know, custom weapon is that it allows you to apply two weapon mods. And these two weapon mods might actually make this a very, a very powerful assault rifle. And I'm definitely going to want to make sure I, I check this out. Because the cool thing about this one, guys, you don't have to add a suppressor because it already comes with a suppressor. So this might be my go-to weapon now if, uh, if you know, after we test it out. It also comes with the arm resistance, which uh, this one is another really good weapon. Once again, it comes with three different mo two different mod slots and the mod slot and four different attachments. So something to definitely try. Now, as far as gear is concerned, we have this one, which is called Disguise. It pretty much slows down detection speed without affecting solar suspicion. Really good. So if you want to play that stealthy look, uh, or that's you have the stealthy look, and you also have the stealth perks to go with it. Next, we have the T-Time Jacket, which is going to slow down detection speed without affecting soldier suppress, uh, suspicion. So as you guys hear, we're going with a stealth pattern. I'm probably going to be picking up all these because I do like to play stealthy. Then we have this one, the Gorilla Defender, which is an extra one that we're getting. And this improves soft target blast and armor piercing defense. We have a ton of these, but this one actually looks really, really nice. Let's take a look at that, what this one looks. This looks pretty, pretty hot. Looks pretty dope. Actually, let me show you what these look like so you guys can get a better idea of what you're going to be getting yourself into. So that looks really nice. That Libertad uh, beanie right there or cap. The jacket looks pretty dope too as well. And we already saw that one. Now for the gloves, we have greatly improved weapon sway. So that means if you're having too much weapon recoil, 
you're able to actually get those and that's what those look like here then we have the pants which is going to greatly improve your armor piercing rounds defense once again really tactical i actually like these these look more like joggers with that blue line i like it and last but not least we have the boots which is going to improve move speed while manually healing this is going to be really, really good. So we have some really good stuff, and you definitely want to pick up the weapon. And these two art articles right here, if you like to play stealthy, are definitely going to be the ones you want to spend the most money with. So the A is Val, the cap, and of course the jacket look really, really promising. Now, uh, you do have a uh, Yard Libertad, which is a little shibby right here that we're able to apply. That's going to go on our car. And that is for the black market. Now let's take a look at we, we got anything as far as in the store, anything that got updated. So let's take a look at the fact that we got any bundles. So we have, ooh, the Heisenberg bundle. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and preview this one. So we did get a brand new one. So we have this one, the principal. Quickly draw short to mid-range reward. Precise handling. We have the bite by uh, bite by a dead bee. Uh, unrelented firepower light machine gun. Okay, so let's check out the details. So it does come with the ammo sockets. Okay, so it doesn't they don't look that bad. They actually look pretty nice right here. If you ask me to, I mean, I do like the fact that it has this one. And if you guys know, leave me in the comment section. Let me know if you know what the reference to this icon or the name of this is. Come on, come on, guys. If you don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I want to know. I want to know. Then we have toxic gadgets. You gonna let me see who messes up in the comment section. Then we have toxic gadget pockets. Carry more poison grenades and poison proximity charges. This might be really good for a poison build guide. Improve amount of pesos looted in, uh, in Paris ammo and reserves. So that's really dope. We have the watch. Heal after killing a poisoned enemy. I'm telling you, man, this might be a really good poison builder. Begin uh, poison increased move speed. And we also have the Heisenberg set, which is going to protect your eyes from poison. So this actually might be really, really dope, guys. This might We might put a build together for poison. If you guys want to see one, let me know. And we also have Los Poyos and Manu's Bundle. Oh my goodness, what does this mean? Come on, come on, man. If you guys don't know what this means, guys, come on, come on. So we have Los Poyos and Manu set. Uh, this one right here is going to give uh, generate less uh, less zone heat. Okay, so I'm assuming there's going to be for a fire build. Uh, greatly improves movement noise and impair, uh, impairs general defense. I like the I like those shoes though. Improves health regeneration while holstered. Okay. That's actually pretty good. This is actually improves health regeneration while holstered. That is pretty good. I'm gonna have to test how good that is. Receive vessels from killing an enemy with poison. Okay. And this might be a really good uh you know, we tie it together with the other one. This might be a really good money farm. And then we have Los Boyos and Minus Set. Improves fall damage defense. These sneakers are legit, bro. I need to cop me a pair of these, man. Not, not gonna lie, no cap. And then we have the uh, the car right here, which is right here. All right, Los Boyos and Manos. All right, so that's pretty. That's pretty dope. I like what they did here. I do like what they did here. And of course, let's show exactly if anything got uh, deducted in price. We got a twenty-two deduction, twenty-six. Now, as far as equipment is concerned, guys, it seems like we have all the equipment. It hasn't reset. We have the same weapons from last time. Nothing has been added. So we have the same weapons, but as far as the bundles, guys, we got some really, really dope bundles. I, I think, I you know, to be fair, I think I like the Los Boyos one better than the other one, but the Heisenberg was pretty dope. If you guys don't know what that's referenced to, I'm gonna be really, really disappointed with you guys, man. So I hope you guys know exactly what it is that we're gonna be talk we're talking about here on the channel. So that is what we have for the reset. Now I do want to go ahead and mention a couple things for you guys that you might have missed. We do have the season pass, and within that season pass, you are able to get stuff and items for your character. So I did want to make sure you guys know that. Now, I haven't made a video on that, but one of the most OP things that you're able to get is this pistol right here. I kind of want to show you what it has. Let me show I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. If you stayed this long for the video, you deserve to know what this gun has. So it comes with this weird mod that you're not able to get anywhere, but it is just crazy, crazy, crazy. It's called Rack em Up. You fire a magnetic curve shot and can pierce through targets to hit multiple enemies. So it's pretty much like a, a bullet that tracks enemies and goes around. Really, really dope. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of gameplay uh, later on in the, my next video that's going to come out tomorrow. So you definitely want to check that out. Make sure you guys keep it locked to the channel. But this looks really, really hot, guys. It looks really, really dope. It's one of my favorite guns. Not only the way they look aesthetically, you have the fire, but it's just that mod is really, really crazy. Now, in addition to that, you're also able to get gear, which I'll have a video tomorrow going over all the gear because I didn't want to spoil it for you guys today. But make sure you guys keep it locked in this channel. Let me know if you guys are excited for Reset. If you are, what was your favorite weapon? What do you feel that you should definitely need to pick up? 
in the comment section down below. If you are enjoying our Far Cry coverage, do me the favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss our videos. And do check out our other shooter videos like Halo and Outriders. These are really good games. Highly recommend them. And you want to go an extra mile, become part of the Bull Nation by hitting that join button. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.